What's up, Hot Wheels and Diecast enthusiasts? It's time to bang one out. Boom! Yeah, I'm at Target banging one out right now. And I'm on my way to the Diecast. I do like Spider-Man stuff a lot. Especially this Hobgoblin, son. Good Lord. Thanks to my buddy Lance, he picked those up for me, man. Super awesome. Still need to pick me up a hammerhead. Yeah, let's go over here and check out what's going on over there. Make sure there's nobody coming around. Oh, there's some people. All right. Yeah. You know what? The world's end don't worry me. And I'm going to get where I'm going. Just don't hurry me. Them the, that's the motto right there, son. Like, shit is just going to happen. And I'm just going to do things the way I want to do them. And that's the way they're going to be, man. But they have a couple different nine packs. Kicking for the matchbox. Let y'all take a good look at these. Yeah. See, not a lot of people are a fan of those wheels, but I do like those wheels a lot. Let's see, let's check this one out too. I think it's the only two different ones that they have. Kind of putting some new, some new different varieties in there. I do enjoy that truck right there. That truck is dope. Nice. That one's the same. Yeah, it's just gonna be those two, right there. Okay. Let's see, let's move this bad boy over here too. Slide you right up into there. Okay, and obviously one of my favorite packs I still need to grip up on, man. You know, some things just gotta go in the back burner a little bit. And you can also, you know, only get so much space some, sometimes, so. Um, still looking for that DeLorean monster truck. It's not here. But what I did want to shoot, film, oh, they got the, Star Wars here now. Our Target does now have the turtle vans and they got them all. But unfortunately, the turtle vans here are only five, are $5.99. Whereas if you can find them at Walmart, they're going to be $3.88. But the dream. Oh, I caught it. I caught it. <laughs> I'm going to show this one because it is my favorite out of the bunch. I think the dream van is my favorite right there Let's see what other one this is a good one too for all y'all that missed my other videos and have not seen these we definitely want to put them up on blast again but yeah, target does now have them so i would probably say walmart got them three weeks ago and target was oh you know what's gonna happen if there's some good ass batman you, when you come to three live you know you're gonna be having a nice look at it because this is the gold label target exclusive hazmat suit batman part of the justice league the mesovirus comic this thing is the ball son this thing is awesome it's got the light up logo symbol and it's also different than the regular version i don't know if you can see those well but yeah way better so I am definitely going to be gripping up on this today. I decided to stop in at Walmart real quick. I'm going to go head down to the normal territory that I do today. But this matchbox here is banging, bro. I do like this. I'm going to be gripping up on this today, too. Best believe that. Look at that. Man. All right, that Walmart, they didn't have shit, bro. So I didn't even worry about turning this thing on. But I'm at Rick's right now and it's so windy today. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this promo inside here before I go in. February 26th, this coming Saturday, nine to two, $2 admission is the OKC Hot Wheels and Diecast show. As or I like to call convention, I get my balls busted because people tell me it's not a convention. But hey, unless an actual convention comes to OKC, that's how I'm looking at it. You're going to find the likes. Oh, sorry. The early morning admission is 7.30 for 5 instead of 2 at 9. So either way, 
affordable. And you're going to see the likes of Aaron Mills, the guy who puts the show on. Without him, this show wouldn't happen. As soon as you come in the door, look to your right. That's where Aaron Mills is going to be. Show him some love. Tell him how much you appreciate him putting this show on. You're going to see the likes of Rick's Collectibles, James Sturgill from Spark Toys and Collectibles, Diecast Lindsay, JR's Diecast and NASCAR, um, Joe Bridges. I'm trying to think of the other guys right now. Um, sorry, you got Carl's Car Shack. Carl's got stuff for days. Everybody's got stuff for days, but Carl's going to have a lot of new stuff. Like uh, I know he's going to have some Rocket Bunnies there. I don't have my access to it right now. He's going to have some, uh, I don't know if it's the Greenlight Fall Guy truck. I'm not sure if Greenlight makes that, but he's going to have so much shit there. It's going to be insane. Rick's going to have so much shit there. It's insane. Stirred everybody from top to bottom. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. I'll be posted up there. It sounds like Tusk is going to be posted up there. I think we're going. To, our tables are going to be side by side, so you can come check us out. You know, Come bust our balls if you want. Come have some fun with us. Don't want to forget Richard Adams. Go check Richard Adams out. Richard Adams is usually, me, Richard Adams, Joe Bridges from JR's Diecast, and Rick are in the same room usually. And Tusk will be there too. The first room as you come in the doors, there's going to be a room right to your left. That's where you're going to find us. If you go down a little bit after you come in, the first room to the right is going to be Sturge, Diecast Lindsay, and Carl's Car Shack. I think that's going to be it. I'm going to go up in here and see what I can find up in Rick's today. All right, we're gonna try to do this one-handed while I'm holding some shits, but all done there at Rick's, and as usual, they closed like an hour and 15 minutes ago. So we closed this joint down. I got a couple things from there. One of these, I can't tell if I can see it real well because the sun's pretty bright. This Ertl piggy bank. Yeah, I'm gonna go out here, show y'all some of what I got. All right, so here is the Ertl piggy bank I was telling you about that I just got from Rick's super awesome I have a shit ton of change that I can go ahead and just drop up in this some bitch now but I do like Ertl stuff all die cast straight up rubber tires all the good shit okay now seeing how we've been talking about the OKC show coming up you can get these at the convention uh, local gentlemen customizes these and put these on they have a black one and a green one uh, I may get the details wrong so ask Aaron Mills how you can get these when you come into the show but you need you'll get a raffle ticket just for being at the show and if you want more I do believe they are a dollar a pop and they have random drawings to where you can win these I think you have to buy the black one or you have to I'm not sure but the black the green ones the harder one to get I just scored it out of Rick, so this is pretty awesome. So yeah, ask Aaron Mills. He will fill you in on the details on how you can win these for yourself. All this stuff came from Rick's. Check out this Roger Dodger, son. I do like Roger Dodgers. A little bit more than I used to, but they do they did grow on me, so I do like these a lot. This is what the back of the card looks like. Those are the ones in the series. So can you all have a look at that? And I do like to get some of these whenever I can. These faster than ever wheels. These things are pretty awesome for the track because you can see the wheels right there. You can see right through them. So when you're when you're racing, you gotta understand air. That air is gonna pass right through those wheels. And also the light nickel plated uh, axles help for these things to go real fast. So this one's pretty awesome. It is the stalker. What we got on the back? There you go. Have a look at that. And I'm a huge fan of Oldsmobiles. A big fan of Oldsmobiles. And I just scored this super treasure hunt. Ah! Uh, this thing is all muscle, all badass, blue. The full gimmick, sons. Look at it. Ah! Ugh! Super, super awesome. I got a couple loose bangers there, too, because I like my loose bangers. Check this out. Let's go ahead and put it down here. It might roll away on me. So, sorry, I'm getting the best shots I can here. Sorry about that. Look at that. Really awesome. The Baja Bruiser. 
a late 70s casting. Love my old trucks. Love a lot of trucks, period. This thing is sweet. And y'all know I love me some freaking high rakers. Check out this vet, bro. This high raker is dope. Sick. Only got a couple small flea bites on it. Is it. I don't even know if this one does. I'll have to look at it again. Oh yeah, right there. We got one. But man, in amazing shape. But this is the kind of stuff that you can get at the show. I got all this today from Rick. And there's so many people there that have awesome stuff as well. And with that being said, everybody, just be cool. Scissor me timbers. It's time for scissoring, bro. Man, I almost forgot. I got this super treasure hunt as well from Rex. Check it out. The King Kuda. Ah! Awesome. Man, just came out of, the day, out of there today with so many bangers. King Kuda, bro. And with that being said, everybody, just be cool. Do good things for other people. And I'm going to be out. Peace. Drip.